Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Pokemon Swoosh. Uh, you can't see my, like, upload queue, but I really should be playing Ace Attorney right now. I have two Swoosh videos done, two Spyro videos done, one Ace Attorney video done. But I'm not really in a murder-solving mood, I'm in a cute creatures, colourful adventure sort of mood, so Swoosh it is. Let's go. Uh, last time we made our way through part of Route 3, uh, if we look at the map here. Yeah, we made our way from over here in Motor Motorstoke to this campsite in the middle of Route 3. It doesn't quite look like the middle on the map, but I think it's probably the middle. So I assume in this video we'll make it to the mines, which are over here. Uh, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> I'm going to have to fight you. You're blocking the entire path. Let's go. <laughs> every Pokemon's got a type or two, and every type has strong points and weak ones. You were challenged by Schoolboy Peter. Schoolboy Peter sent out Sizzlipede. Oh, you're in trouble. <laughs> go on, Cynthia. I know you can do it. Water Pulse. Cynthia used Water Pulse. <laughs> oh, my, oh my goodness, it's super effective. The opposing Sizzlepeed fainted. The Pokemon gained experience points. Charles grew level 15. Charles wants to learn the move Raw. I forget what Raw does, let's have a look. Uh, target is scared off and a different Pokemon is dragged out and the world just ends a battle against a single Pokemon. Hmm. I might drop Tail Whip and take Roar instead, because that sounds a bit more useful. I don't tend to use non-damaging moves very much. <laughs> Ta-da! Charles forgot Tail Whip, and it learned Roar instead. School Pays Lights turned out Dotler. I don't know what Dotler is, so I don't really know what to expect. Uh, let's, let's have a look. Looks like a rock of some kind, maybe? Let's try Water Pulse and see how we go. Maybe it's a bug. Use Confusion. A critical hit. We can get confused though, so I'm okay. Since they used Water Pulse. So yeah, it's not super effective, so that's not a rock, but I don't know what it is. Hmm. Pokemon gained experience points. Cynthia grew to level 19. Let's turn the move Tearful Look. Uh, let's have a look. What's that do? The user gets teary eyed to make the target lose its combat combative co combative spirit. Combative? Combative? This lowers the target's attack and special attack stats. Uh, I feel like that's a character uh, a, a spitting move for the character, but uh, I don't know if I want it. Hmm. I don't think it's- I don't think I'd end up using it, I probably won't- I probably won't get it. Even though it sounds like a pretty appropriate move for this particular Pokémon. Yeah. You defeated Schoolboy Peter! I'm weak to people older than me. You got 840 Poké Yen for winning. Heck yeah. I've always wanted Poké Yen. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, those are those rocks that we already saw earlier. I'm not too enthused about getting more of them. We found a super potion. Okay, so that's the mine over there, right? Galar Mine lies ahead. Yep, we've made it to the mine. There's someone outside. And something shiny. You found two X defenses. Wow, I'll never use those. <laughs> Hello. Hiya! Me and my little sister have set ourselves up as a pop-up Pokémon Center service. Not that we asked anyone if we could or should. Well, our mine is pretty rough on a team, isn't it? I'll heal up your Pokémon for you, friend. Come talk to me anytime you think your team needs a bit of care. Wow, thank you. That's super helpful. Uh, I'm gonna throw down a save, just because I feel like throwing down a save. And let's head into the mine. 
This looks dangerous. Let's go. I wonder if... Okay, so you can see Pokemon in mines as well. It's not classic style random encounters, which is good because I would hate that. Uh, I would like to talk to that flying Pokemon there. That little bat of sorts. Hello. You encountered a wild Woobat. Come on, Cynthia. I know you can do it. Ah, uh, just a moment. Okie doke. Just close my door. Don't want to get random noises coming in, that sort of thing. Okay, um... Okay, I would like to catch this. I don't know what type it is. Ultra Pound? Cynthia, you used Pound. Hmm, the Wild Wubat used Gust. Except it's Flying type, probably. It means it's weak to water. I'll try Water Gum, but it might do too much damage. Oh, cool, I went well. Used Attract. It doesn't affect Cynthia. Why not? They're both girls. That should have worked. <sighs> Used a Pokeball. Click. Got your woo that was caught. Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 your Pokemon got experience. Points for Peter Grudel level 15. You know, wants to learn the move. Baby doll eyes. That sounds pretty cute. Let's have a look. Get an old move. Baby doll eyes, it's fairy type. Interesting. Um, let me see. Well, the target's attack stat. Uh, I might switch it out for sand attack or tail. I might switch it for tail whip. I think I want to learn a fairy type move, but I probably won't use it. <laughs> One, two, and ta-da! Pepita forgot tail whip, and it learned baby doll eyes instead. Ooh, it said it will be added to the Pokédex. It emits ultrasonic waves as it flutters about searching for its prey bug Pokémon. Uh, 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 are psychic or flying strong against bug? I have no idea. Yes. Okay, so that's Mars, which means her name will be... Uh, uh, Wanda. Like, 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 like that. Not like Wanda over yonder. <laughs> Send to a box. There we go. Ba -ba -ba -da. Okay, um, what have we got here? I can see some shiny stuff, but I can't pick it up or anything. Can I interact with that? You found a star piece! Oh, cool, that sounds good. I feel like I should fight these just, just to get the experience. Um, this game is pretty generous with experience by the looks of things, but might be a good idea anyway. War Pulse. It's super effective, the wild roly coly fainted. Pokemon gained experience points, not very many though, that's okay. I still get money from wild battles, which is interesting. I thought they might change that, but no, you still don't. Since a lot's changed in this game, in terms of, like, basic balance stuff, experience sharing all the time, that kind of thing. I suppose it's very hard to softlock yourself running out of money in these, this game, since you can fly almost immediately at the very beginning. And I don't think there's a whole lot that requires money. Apart from costumes and stuff. <laughs> Which are very important, obviously, but if you can't... Oh, hello. Hello, I don't think I have one of you. Rog and Roller. I don't know if that's new in this game or it's from a previous one. Uh, I'm guessing it's Rock-type. I'll try Water Gum, but I have a feeling that'll kill it. Ooh, oh, perfect. Rog and Roller's... Oh, it has Sturdy. That's why that happened. Okay. Well, I can catch it now. <laughs> Use the Pokeball. I want a rock and roller on my team. Click. Heck yeah. Rock and roller was caught. 
So yeah, sturdy I believe means if you're attacked and you have more than half health, then you go to 1 HP instead of fainting. I think that's what it means. Something like that anyway. I, I know it means you go to 1 HP instead of fainting under certain circumstances, but I'm not sure what they are. When it attacks a noise, it starts to move. The energy core inside it makes this Pokémon slightly warm to the touch. Yes, I'll give you a nickname. Okay, we've got our Venus symbol, so... Um... Ronald. Your name will be Ronald. Send Ronald to a box, please. I should probably plug a keyboard in. Like, I have one here, it's just not plugged into the Switch. I'll think about it. Um, yeah, let's keep going now. Actually, we could go outside and talk to that Pokemon Healy place again, just because I used up some PP. Hello! Yes, we just talked to you. Ooh. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the mine works the same way as everywhere else where... Oh, hello! I saw a little minecart. Where's that? What is going on? Is there a minecart Pokemon? Is that what that was? Hmm. This is really pretty. I like all the shiny stuff on the walls. You found a revive. Okay, you're a Pokemon trainer. Hello. My work partner and I are in perfect sync, even in battle. You were challenged by Worker Keith. Worker Keith sent out Dropbox. No Rock and Roller. <laughs> okay, um, this Rock and Roller probably has Sturdy as well, but maybe not. We'll see how we go. Nope, that doesn't have Sturdy. Okay, Rock and Roller fainted. Goodbye. Pokemon gain experience points. Raphael good to level 17. Now I'm the good level 15. Now they want to learn the move Stockpile. Uh, I don't know what that does, so let's have a look. Uh, stockpile. The user charges up power and raises both its special, its defense and special defense stats. The move can be used three times. Not 20 times? Why three times? Hmm. I might drop Tail Whip and use Stockpile instead because it sounds like it's a more it sounds like a, like a distinctive squirrel sort of move, but I don't know if it's any good. So, I don't know. I'll, I think I'll drop Tail Whip and one stockpile. One, two, and... Ta-da! Now we forgot Tail Whip, and it learns stockpile instead. The word move Swallow? Yeah, alright. Uh, the power stored using the move Stockpile absorbed by the user to heal its HP. Storing more power heals more HP. Oh, okay. I see, I see. Um... I feel like I should learn that, but I don't know what I want to drop to get it. Maybe Tackle? I don't really have a uh, Dark-type attack. Maybe Stuffed Cheeks. Yeah, I'm going to drop Stuffed Cheeks. It sounds a lot more situational than Swallow. One, two, and ta-da! Nelly forgot Stuffed Cheeks, and she learned Squirrel. It's, it's squirrel, Squirrel, she learned Swallow instead. <laughs> oh, there's more. Hang on. Hang on, what? Speed up. The power stored using the move stockpile is released at once in attack. The more power is stored, the greater the move's power. Okay, I might drop tackle and put speed up there instead. I believe I need to use stockpile first before I can use that move at all, but let's go with that. Level 15? Okay, that's all. <laughs> hmm, looks like we weren't in sync. You got 1400 Poke Yen for winning. I sure did. Give me them Poke Yen. Um, I don't know if I want to go this way or the other way. I'll try going this way and see where it leads. Well, um, oh, okay. Hello down there. Town TM54 Rock Blast! <laughs> Can I, like, jump down there? Uh, looks like no. That would have been probably deadly if I did, so that's probably good. <laughs> Okay, um... I think exploring caves is a lot less obnoxious now that you can see wild Pokemon on the field. Cause like, 
you, you could sometimes see random encounters in the previous gen in sumo, um, but not always, and caves were one of the places where they were still just randomly happened. I think this is much better, that you can just wander around and say, oh hey, a Pokemon, I'll encounter that, or not, as the case may be. Okay, so is this thing a, a Pokemon? It is! A wild carcoal. Okay, I assume it's rock type because, yeah. So, um, I'm gonna try water gun. Hopefully it doesn't faint, but it might. Since he used water gun. It fainted. <sighs> okay, we'll have to find another one. Pokemon gained experience points. Cynthia grew to level 20. Charles grew to level 16. Da 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 da. I feel like if I, if I walk on this track a bit more, there should be another one, because they seem to be spawning on the minecart tracks. Which sort of makes sense, because they're minecart Pokemon. Which is kind of weird. Uh... Hmm... Are you a trainer? Yes. In order to do good work, I can't slack off on training. Damn, you're cute. Work at Georgia. Georgia, you are cute. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, look, it's Timber. Timber's adorable. I forget if Timber's from this game or a previous one, but they're adorable. That's water puddles. Supposing Timber fainted. I may be a bit over leveled. <laughs> Working George about this had another Timber. No, I won't switch your Pokemon. I don't know what type Timber is, so. Uh, apparently, I still don't know, even though I just fought one. That's interesting. I, I thought I would know after one fight, but apparently, not. Maybe you have to finish the whole battle. Experience pizza leveled up. Another timber. Is that all you have? Georgia, come on. You need more Pokemon than that. You need a diverse party. Different types and stuff. That's how, that's how you win at a video game. It's called Pokemon. I did really work at Georgia. You made for some good training. Oh, look how happy she is. Oh, you're welcome, worker Georgia. I got 1,400 perky again for winning. Okay, I feel like this is probably another side path, judging from its position. Yeah, it is. You found TM26 scary face. You put TM26 in your bag's TM's pocket. Heck, I sure did. You used to frighten the target with a scary face to harshly lower its speed stat. Oh, I thought Scary Face was the one that stopped them, like, switching out or something, but no. A bag of Stardust. Lovely red sand that flows between the fingers with a loose, silky feel. It can be sold at a low price to shops. Can it be sold somewhere else at a high price? Or is just the best we can do? <laughs> okay, um... I feel like I want to keep walking on this track a little bit longer and find another, another um, minecart. I don't know what makes them spawn though. Um, they don't seem to be quite as common as some of the other Pokemon wandering around here. What is that? Oh, yeah, I scared it off. Oh no! <laughs> Maybe if I whistle on the track, it'll make the the uh, car whatever it was tarcoal, car ta car top. Ca I don't remember. Hmm, doesn't look like it. Hmm. Well, I can get their attention, but I'm not, I'm not looking for you. I already caught you. Hmm. But 
Where is my little minecart friend? I hope it, like, does respawn. Like, I didn't kill the only one. That would be a problem. <laughs> Uh, I might head out, hit the Pokemon Center again, just because that might make it respawn. I don't want to miss anything. Hiya! I think it's pretty cool that they're working as a Pokemon Center, even though they didn't ask anyone if they could or should. That's pretty awesome. Big A do crimes. Yep, it worked. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Ah, I can't catch up with you. Hopefully it'll loop around again after going off that end. I think that's what it does. <gasps> Diglett! Diglett, Diglett, Diglett! Give me a Diglett. Look, it's a Diglett! Everyone's in thing I know you can do it. Let's catch this diglet that is living in the ground. Give it a lick. Tastes just like raisins. Oh no, I'm too powerful. Oh no. I need to move like full swipe or something. Which I don't have. It might be useful though. If I had full swipe, I could full swipe some stuff. Run, 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 run. Where is that minecart? Where is that minecart? Let it go. There's another Diglett. I don't know which Pokemon I touched. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's get that Diglett. Okay. Uh, I might need to switch out to a different... Actually, if I use Bind, that'll just, like, do a little bit of damage, I think. Since the whole point of Bind is it does a small amount of damage each turn or whatever. Use Mud Slap. Oh no, I got slapped with mud. Squidge, squidge. Yeah, that should just slowly weaken it. Uh, let's try throwing a Pokeball. Hang on, what's the Y button do? Info. Oh, 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 okay. You can find out everything's tight by doing this. And their abilities. And health items. Oh, wow. I did not know that was an option. That is really cool. Oh, cool. Okay. Let's see if this is damaged enough. It probably isn't, but I'll give it a try. Womp. 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 Oh, okay, it was. Diglett was caught. Pokemon get experience points. Ba 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 da ba Copernicus screwed to level 16. Ba 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 da ba ba ba. Diglett's data will be added to the Pokedex of Boris through the ground to shallow depth. It leaves Razor a sin and swag it easy to spot. Give Diglett a nickname, yes, please. Okay, so we've got a Venus symbol there, so, um. Daryl. Daryl is the Diglett's name. There we go. Send him to a box. There we go. Goodbye, my dude. Oh, and now I'm also fighting this, uh, this bat here, because they're in the same location. <laughs> well, I already have one of these, so I can just, uh, water pulse and get rid of it. There we go. Goodbye, friend. Pokemon experience points. Cloudly grew to level 16. <laughs> Is the minecart gonna come back? I need to catch it. Did I only have one shot? Do I have to like come back into the room again if it disappears or something? Maybe. Hey you, 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 I haven't got one of you. Oh, dang it. I guess I'll head back out of the mine again and try to be faster? I don't know. Ah, uh, it doesn't work. Uh, I can't. I can't go quick enough. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Let's go fight this uh, George's identical twin. Working women are good at Pokemon bottles too. Well, yeah, of course, obviously. 
You were challenged by worker Sandra. Okay, so Sandra and Georgia are identical twins. And they both work in the mines. And they both have Pokemon. I mean, of course they do. This is Pokemon. Everyone has Pokemon. Okay, so... Yeah, if I go move info... Oh, okay, so I can go info like this. Look at Diglett's level and, and HP. Not the actual numbers, but lots of info. Uh, ground type, yeah. So I can go, like, fight, water pulse, and it's super effective, so I'm gonna win, like, immediately. As you can see. Sorry, Diglett. Raphael goes level 18. Charles goes level 17. Drillba? Is that that, um, like, little mole I was seeing a couple times? It is! Hi, Drillba! Uh, I guess I'll try Water Pulse. You're probably ground type, and water is super effective, so. Yeah. I can probably just, like, look at the info menu and see what the type is. I didn't think to do that. Oh well. I think you're level 21. Your Pokemon! I want to scout them! You got 1,500 Poke Yen for winning. Yay! <gasps> what? Raphael is evolving? I'm so excited! What could this be? Oh, that's awesome! Congratulations, your Raphael evolved into Corvusquire! Corvusquire! Oh, that's awesome! Oh, that's cool. Corvus Squire's data will be added to the Pokedex. The lessons of many harsh battles have taught her how to accurately judge an opponent's strength. Oh, that's really cool. Thank you, you leveled up my Pokemon and it evolved into a cooler bird. Oops. Oh, uh, h hello, Rog and Roller. Um, I guess I'll just, just defeat you, like, trivially. Here we go. Use Water Pulse. You might have Sturdy though. You do, you have Sturdy. See, so I would have actually attacked instead of using Harden because I'm just gonna defeat you now. Like, trivially. Like this. With a non- not very effective move. See? You, you didn't play your cards right. Granted, you might not have any moves that would have done any better, but I think Harden was a bad choice. Hmm. Where is that minecart Pokemon? It's so hard to find. Well, I mean, it's supposed to be on this track, but I keep missing it. Hmm. Oh, hello. It's you! It's Timber! There's a lot of wild Pokemon in here that I haven't got yet. It's exciting. Uh, level 12. Hmm. I'm gonna try Bind. I think they used Bind. <clears throat> Daniel coughed. I squeezed by Cynthia. Used the Leer. Why did I this spell? Ooh. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be enough. It's probably not. Timber is fighting type, apparently. Hmm, fair enough. Click. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Pokemon experience points, but not that many. No one leveled up. Timbo's data will be added to the Pokédex. Timbo started carrying logs that are about three times their size and nearly ready to evolve. I wonder what they evolve into. Uh, let's see. Mars sign, so, uh... Trisha. There we go. There she goes. I want that minecart Pokemon. I need that minecart Pokemon. I don't know how to get that minecart Pokemon. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. 
And there's a bridge here. Can I jump down? Or no, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm walking towards the edges and it's not doing anything. It's a woo bat. Okay, we're about 30 minutes of play. Um, so I'm probably gonna wrap this one up soon. Uh, let's do a water pulse. Get rid of this woo bat. Wow, that didn't do as much as I thought it would. Blue Bat is weirdly strong. Considering its level, it should have gone down a lot easier than that, I would have thought. Beat the Gotham level up. I really want to catch that minecart. Hmm. Okay, one more time. We'll head outside. We'll talk to the Pokemon Center. I'm gonna give this one more shot and then we'll call it a video. I'll talk to you. Thank you. I can get the drawbar? No. I don't know how to get either of those Pokemon. They keep running away from me. It's very rude. Maybe I need to walk more slowly or something. So they're less scared? I, that'd work for drawbar, but I don't think that works for the minecart. It just takes the track and then vanishes when it's done. Maybe I can get something to run faster. I know there's a bike in this game, but I don't know if you can use it inside caves. You probably can't. Uh, anyway, that's about it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. There's a sparkly thing over here. A hard stone. Durable stone that boosts the power of rock type moves. Neat. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, maybe if I come in through the other entrance, like over here. There was another... No, not, not here. Hang on. I, I just want to try this and then the video will be over. <laughs> Because, yeah, you can leave the mine this direction. Maybe that gives you gives you a better, better head start to get to where the minecart is than going the other way. Because it, you know, spawns at roughly the same sort of spot. Yep, that's how you do it. Okay, uh, so I'm going to use bind. Carcoal. Going to use bind to try to weaken it a bit. Um... Not very effective. That's good because I don't really want to do a lot of damage. Wow, that's really not very effective. That's, that's kind of amazingly ineffective. It's like almost nothing. Oh, that was a bit better. I wonder if, we, I wonder if actually being hurt by blind is different somehow. Rock fire. Hmm. Well, no wonder the water killed it in one hit. Like, that's doubly super effective. Um... I'll, I'll use Pound maybe once or twice, and then I'll try something a Pokeball. I don't really want to do too much damage. I think that, like, being hurt by Bind doesn't take types into account the way actually using the bind move does, and that's why it's doing more damage. I'm not really sure. Rock polish. Oh, you got shiny. Speed rose sharply. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Sorta. Of. Okay, you're in the yellow now, so I'm gonna try throwing a Pokeball. Gave me that car call, I need you in my party, or at least in a box. Oh, no, that wasn't enough. Dang it. Alright, well, you're gonna keep taking damage from Bind, right? No. Okay, I'll do Bind again. <laughs> Everything it does seems to raise its speed. I guess that's why you have to chase after it to try to catch it in the overworld. Also, I assume the speed boost to making it harder to catch as well, because it can, like, run away and stuff. 
Hmm. Might need to try a Gripe Bowl, I don't know. Okay, it's in the red now, so let's give it another try. I do have I do have some Great Balls, so I could try one. Uh, yeah, let's try one. Use the Great Ball. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Heck yeah. Your Pokemon gained experience points. Peter grew to level 17. <laughs> Cockle's data will be added to the Pokedex by rolling its legs can travel at over 18 miles per hour. The temperature of the flames it breathes exceeds 18,000 degrees, 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know why it's using miles per hour in Fahrenheit. Like, I live in Australia and we use the metric system. You'd think I'd have the localization where they're using, you know, kilometers per hour or or, you know, meters per second or whatever, and, you know, degrees, like, not degrees Kelvin, like degrees Celsius or Kelvins, probably degrees Celsius, rather than Fahrenheit, I don't know. Okay, um, anyway, Venus symbol, so, hmm, let us see, let us see, Carl. <laughs> there we are, your name's Carl. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna hit the Pokemon Center one more time, and that's a video. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, we'll probably get all the way through the mine. Since, you know, I just went in a little bit and caught everything I could find. Uh, I don't know how long the mine is. I wonder if you can fly there. Looks like no, which is interesting. Because you can fly to this campsite back here, and you can fly to that spot over there, and that spot over there. And none of those spots, you know, have a Pokemon Center, so it's not just flying to a Pokemon Center. But this spot does have a Pokemon Center, and you can't fly here, which is very interesting. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. I'm saving my progress. Next time, we'll finish going through the mine, I guess. Yay! Bye!